This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. I'm gonna show you a cool hack to get a free ebook that you've downloaded off the internet archive onto your Kindle device. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me, let's get started. So internet archive at archive.org has a section where basically you can download all kinds of ebooks. Most of them are historical, some of them are magazines. Uh, these are really useful resources. For instance, I found public domain works or old works that are before the copyright limitation that I, basically I can download as an EPUB or PDF. And then the question is, well, how do I get them on my Kindle? Here's how. Go to the amazon.com website. When you come to the website, make sure you're logged in, go to accounts and lists, click on account, scroll down to where it says content library. And then on this page, click on preferences. And then on this page, click on personal document settings. You can see that this feature is totally buried within Amazon, and I think they actually don't want you to find it because they just want you to purchase ebooks. They don't want you to download it for free from somewhere else. But basically, what this particular area of the Amazon website shows you, it shows you email addresses that you can send EPUBs or PDFs or Word documents to in order to read them on your Kindle. So, for instance, it says uh, third Kindle, so this is my paper white. It shows this email address. This is a unique email address associated with that Kindle. And if I send an email to this email address with an attachment, such as an EPUB or a PDF, from an approved email address, Amazon will load that ebook onto the Kindle device. So this means I can go to Internet Archive, find some great books that I want to read, like let's say I don't know Joseph Joseph Conrad or William Shakespeare or you know a uh, a report from the Census Bureau in 1950. I can I can download those particular documents, basically put them on my hard drive or on some other device, and then send them as an attachment to this particular email address, and this will show up on my Kindle Paperwhite. The only thing that you need to do before you do that is where it says Personal Document Archiving. Below, below that is a place where you can send, you can have approved personal document email list. So this means you can add email addresses that will be associated with all of these uh, Kindle devices you have. And basically, if you email something from that approved email, email list, that means you'll be able to open up and take a look at those ebooks or PDFs or whatever, or whatever they are. And the reason Amazon has the approved uh, email list is because they don't want people, they don't want other people spamming uh, these these devices and I think that that kind of makes sense if this video helped please take a moment to like it and follow me and then also for more information check the links in the show notes thank you so much for watching